Um, so there was this guy in like seventh grade that had a crush on me. He would kind of like follow me during school a lot just because he liked me and I saw him at lunch, you know, just like he was like hiding behind a trash can, kind of like staring at me. And I like went up to him and I said, I hate you, why do you exist? Since that day on, he didn't talk to me or anything. And this is probably the worst thing I've ever said to anyone. So I felt really guilty afterwards. I didn't really say that I was sorry or anything because I was just like in middle school and it made me look cool. So I thought it was okay to say things like that. But now like looking back at it, I hope it didn't follow him or anything. If I saw him today, I would just like to say sorry and that he's worth something and that he's an important person. The most painful thing I've ever told someone was when I was 19 years old and I told my parents that I was molested by my brother and they didn't believe me. And it took 20 years later for my brother to um, apologize on his own and my mom to this day still doesn't believe me. That's the most painful thing. You are so comfortable with talking about it. What has got you to this point? Therapy. Therapy and talking about it and, and knowing that knowing that the shame is not mine. Knowing that um, I was young. I didn't. He was older. Um, when I spoke up, I did what a 19-year-old would do go to support and when I didn't get it I kept looking for it because my life mattered and it still does and I share it pretty comfortably these days so a couple years ago I uh, lost my daughter everybody had a very strong connection with my daughter and it was heartbreaking to have to tell each and every person individually uh, what happened to her and why she passed she passed away of SIDS sudden in infant death syndrome oh, gotcha. yeah she had a heart condition that was passed on for me so it uh yeah, it was heartbreaking. Um, I told my dying mother that I no longer want her in my life, that I can no longer support her and give her the love and affection that she wants because she ruined too many chances. And when she died, I never said goodbye. I think happiness is the most selfish thing that anyone can do and sometimes finding your happiness means you got to make those tough decisions and let people go sometimes happiness isn't always sunshine and you know smiles sometimes it's rain and pain and suffering and moving on and struggling and I think it really helped define me and who I am and the happiness that I'm trying to create for myself and it was tough but it was the best decision for me so it's not like a single thing, but I used to kind of bully my brother and call him fat, and now I wish that I was more supportive of him and didn't matter what he looked like or not, and now I feel he looks more, feels more comfortable about his body image, but I feel like for a long time I was part of the problem of his body image, and I don't feel good about that. Have you expressed this to him? Mm. You know, now, now I talk to him about how I would only like to support him, but I've never actually told him that I felt bad for pretty much bullying him when we were younger. Uh, and like freshman year, I just like, I, bro made, I broke up with a, a girlfriend over text, like it was the most terrible way to break up with anybody. I'm not like this person anymore, obviously, you know, you go through changes and I became a different person, you know, but I, I was like, your ex-boyfriend's really hot. She was like, which one? I was like, me. That was a pretty painful thing to say. I think it was just like a reckless and like not really caring and like just like too joking in a way that you didn't really care about other people's like feeling, you know? Yeah. And what changed do you think that now you actually do care about people's feelings? Well, like realizing that, you know, like it really matters how you treat other people, you know, if you're not treating anything like it's you too, you know? So like treating every everyone like Everything you know? as it, it is yourself, yeah. Saying I love you to my dad. I hadn't said I love you to my dad in like a really long time and when I said it during our argument I just like it didn't feel right and I just don't think I ever want to say it again unless like I know it's coming from a good place so yeah, I think that's it for me before like before now you can't really tell but I used to be a little bit rounder a little bit more chubby and a lot of people would tell me like oh you lost a lot of weight so 
some people think I lost the weight in a healthy way, but the way I actually lost it was really unhealthy, and I was just in a really bad, it was, I was in a bad time in my life, and I just, I straight up could not consume food or eat anything. So the most painful thing that I experienced was having to actually and truly explain how I lost weight. It was painful for me to explain because it's just kind of like, oh, yeah, that's, like that's the reality of it, and that's actually how I lost everything, like all the weight. But we're good now. We're good now. We're thriving. I was really mad, and I told like, I told like my family like as a whole that they were doing like a bad job of being a family. Like I don't know what I was saying. I was kind of like mad. Like I love my family, and like we fight a lot, but like they do everything for me as much as they can. I talked to them that day. I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that because I can't go to bed like. Well, I can go to bed being mad at them, but I can't go to bed like having them like, feel that way about upset. Yeah. The most painful thing I've told somebody is I've cheated on you. Something I kind of think about a lot, actually, and how wrong it was and uh, how sorry I am, and it kind of affects where I'm at today. Did they forgive you? Um, I don't think so.